and fully vegan taste test. Fully vegan taste test. Chickpea Sally. We are doing a few chickpea recipes today, and I boiled half a kilo of oh. dry. <laughs> Glad enough. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, you can keep going. This is half a kilo dried chickpeas. I boiled them for two hours. You didn't see that because it's not that interesting. But we drain them now. And at the start I show you how you can skin them when you have a lot. You don't have to skin them, but if you do, then it tastes better. If you don't, it's healthier. But I skin them because it tastes better. Is it easy to skin them? Well, it's fun. It's fun? Yes. Like popping, packing? Well, it's not that much fun. So I wash them off first. The skin only comes off when the chickpeas are wet. So if you let them sit and they dry, then it's harder to get it off. And that is why Bucket of water and then add water. And then you take your rings off. The other one doesn't come off. And, um, oh, they're warm. <laughs> you rub them between your hands, but not too much. And then you see how easy the skin comes off. And you do that for a while. And the skin swims on top because it's lighter, but not too much, otherwise, you make them mushy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You can also do that. See how much skin there is? It's a bit gross. It's like jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Um, you can do that in between napkins or kitchen see kitchen paper too but then it sticks to the kitchen paper and then that's gross because how do you get that off so how do you separate the now that the skin is being separated from the chickpea I will show you that in a minute right yeah. the secrets of the green kitchen yeah Sally chickpea And just to show it's an authentic Irish kitchen, here is the range oven. I'm sure it weighs like a hundred million tons, or at least about a hundred or two hundred kilos. I don't know, that thing looks really heavy. Uh, a lot of houses in Ireland have one of these. I'm not going to say all of the houses do, but what I mean is that little cottages and houses older than 1970 all tend to have this very same model. This is really, it's really a lot, maybe half a kilo is a lot, um, because there is a lot of skin already swimming around. Um, you let it sit a little bit, not what, well, a little bit. And then you strain it off, but careful, so you don't dump it in, um, carefully, and then the chickpeas stay in the blue container, but the skins should go in the train. strainer. See, like yeah. jellyfish. Mm. That's disgusting. Yeah, it looks like skin. Fingernails. Mm hmm. Wet fingernails. Ah, gross. Alright, and then you add water here again, and we repeat that. This here. Ah, it's the skins. The skins, you can eat them, and that's basically fiber. So for your intestines, it's very good. Or you can just mix it into something else. You though. can eat it. If you make hummus or whatever, you don't have to take it out. But if you take it off the skin, uh, everything is smoother that you make with it. And today we make hummus without the skin. So, to see a difference. Compost. Well, that's gross. It's weird. Yeah, it is. Alright. And then we add water and 
and rub more. Mm. Cold water? Cold water. Maybe you can even take it off like... Well, no, not really. Oh, like skim it off with a big maybe, label oh, maybe or something. Maybe with this tool here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. That's clever. Smart, huh? Let's save time and energy. Oops, lost one. So if you don't cook half a kilo, it doesn't take this long. But yeah, that might take a minute or two. That's a pretty gross. Maybe you can use that for Halloween for something to put it in something. Oh, fake brains. Or yeah, I don't know. Something. <laughs> and when they dry, if you lose a skin somewhere, when they dry, they go hard and then they're even grosser. Then they're really like thin fingernails. Yeah. Yeah, right. Fun for the whole family. Yeah. Well, the only thing that can happen is that you squeeze them too hard. That's it. I, I used the big strain. That looks pretty effective. Maybe there is a easier way, I don't know. The first time I did it, I did it bean by bean by hand. One by one. That took a long time. <laughs> comes off very easy. If you put baking soda in the cooking water, it comes off even easier. See, I mean it really comes out easy. It's not hard work. It just takes a bit. I think it's all finished soon. Maybe one more up. Yeah, there's a lot less skins now. Well, they're all in here, look. 
<laughs> That's a lot of fiber. You want some Maybe fiber? you can make wheat bix out of it. <laughs> this is what the good bacteria in your intestines eat. Hmm. That's what they like, and then they are healthy, and then you poop more. True story. The more you poop, the healthier you are. Okay. Yeah. But not the runnier your poop. No, not the runnier. Um, the frequency. Well, you know, soft stools. Uh, not rock hard. You can... Pebbles. No, not that. Dehydrated person. Well, that's not good. That's right. You see that it's effective. It works. If you buy it in a can, I think the can ones are all skinned. Did you see my lava lamp? Silver. It's cool. What the hell? And it's on. It's as cool as I am. You wouldn't even know it. That's how slow it moves. Well, it's as slow as I am. <laughs> you don't have to be fast, but good. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Now. I say it's officially skinned. Okay. So, so I the last drain off. Strain it and wash it off a second time, and then that's it for a start. And then we can start and then measure it in weight to know how many grams half a kilo of dried chickpeas is. How much do you think? Half a kilo of dried chickpeas. Yeah. How much do you think it will be? This case. Now. Um, about half yeah. of that. Well, you think wet they have less weight than dry? No, no, I don't know. Is that half a kilo in there now? Yes, that was half a kilo of dried chickpeas. So, shouldn't it still just be half a kilo when it dries again? Yeah, but you don't try it again, you eat it like this. You yeah, can cook sure. it now. Alright. Now I finger out the last skins that I can see and the rest just stays on. You finger them out? I finger them out, what I can see on the surface. Um, and then I strain this here. Is it strain or drain? Strain. The thing the water goes down is the drain. Look at the weather. Yeah, it's beautiful. Show them the Irish weather. Glorious it's Irish sun. It's down and the sun is shining on the same. The sun is shining on an Irish morning. Even though it's uh, quarter to six in the evening. You can have one. Oh, that's got a skin hanging off of it. <laughs> that looks like tissue paper. Mm. Maybe you can make toilet paper it out of it. It kind of just tastes like uh, overcooked corn. I think it tastes nutty like chestnut. Hmm. I put this now in here so that all of the water is out. And you see that I squeezed a few. Uh -huh. Now you've drained it. Drained it. Mm hmm The thing it went in was also the strainer. Strainer. 
Mm-hmm. And Seichel in Austrian. What is it? Seichel. Good word. Seichel. The Germans say sieb. Sieb. Ah, oh, like sieb. a sieve. Yes. In English. And in Austria you say a Seichel. Seichel. A noodle Seichel. Net? No. No, you. No. All right, done. This here now, I measure it now in weight, and then we'll see what we do. and a little bit so a little bit more than double the weight one kilo fifty 